is I'm gonna walk up, um, you know, I'm gonna talk my shit to Trump, and then um, it's gonna be a very good experience. And I'm gonna talk my shit. I don't care if the Secret Service is there. I'm gonna talk, talk shit. So neon's not allowed in. What? They use they dropped your name specifically. Huh? They just dropped your name specifically, bro. They said neon is not allowed in. In the stadium? Yes. What? What the hell? I'm not allowed Bro, in this. You stuff. specifically, so now I need to talk to them about refunding the damn money. Hold on. I want to shout out all our first responders, our military, those are the real heroes, the celebrities of our country. Also want to shout out Donald Trump. You can delay us, but you can't deny us. He's going to make America great again. We need these borders secure, we need inflation down, and we need America first again. Donald Trump's the only one that's going to do that again. Trump 2024. Who and who is in the building? But former presidents. Donald Trump, escorted by UFC President and CEO Dana White. And they are all rising inside T-Mobile Arena to pay their respects to the former leader of these United States. Yes, this guy planned evil and immediately sent this video out on Instagram. A lot of people saw it and seek the attentions of the security. According to this article, UFC crowd goes wild as Trump enters arena at Covington Five, flanked by Danny White, Kid Rock, and Mario Lopez. Immediately, he arrived this arena. Something happened. He was kicked out. You're right. There's a popular streamer online called Neon, and he yeah. said he was a banned from the arena tonight, specifically by. He by... said he was banned from the arena. No, what happened is he he said some stupid shit on Instagram and uh, you know he, he bought tickets so he wasn't anywhere close when you start saying stupid shit like that yeah you're probably gonna get busted up and thrown out of here you know making threats and talking dumb shit looking for clout I believe he said he was gonna I don't care what he said I think he said he's gonna confront Donald Trump is what I don't care what he said did he well he wasn't able to he's just who you know that <laughs> fucking punk thank you yeah nice yeah, Sometimes a lot of people, what they do in life is just to seek cloud, forgetting that it can lead them into serious problems. He sent that short video out. I'm going to speak my mind to Trump. I'm going to do this. I don't care about the Secret Service and how they like. He thought people never saw it. It went viral. It went viral. And upon arriving at the door, they rejected that he would not enter. I believe you heard what Danny White said here. That is how it is done. Sometimes putting out videos on social media can put you in a situation you cannot even recover. It is crazy. He wanted to go viral. He's a streamer, but he bounced back. All in for uh, President Trump. I just want to say that I'm just all in. I'm just all in, you know, I said, I'm all in, whatever, you know, you just let me know I'm all in, because I know if I ain't all in, man, they're going to put my ass in a gulag. If he loses, I know, you know, that what they're going to do, and I don't really want to go to a re-education camp and have to give all my money away to a bunch of losers that never know how to get a job. I don't I care about them. If we don't stop these horrible communists, do you hear me? I'm asking you to hear me. 
Yes, when you take a look at this article flung by UFC President Daddy White, Kid Rock and Mario Lopez, President Donald Trump entered a team mobile arena in Las Vegas to uh, recall aviation from the crowd as Kid Rock, American bodies blast through the arena speaker. He was the view from the upper decks. When you take a look at what Trump has been doing all this while attending some of these matches, I believe this is the biggest campaign that does not even stress him. Just imagine the number of people that are standing up here to support him. I have never seen a crowd getting up, you know, like this. They had to put a popular song that Trump liked and all the crowd was standing. Then you would tell me you can defeat this guy. I have seen this on three occasions and I'm still witnessing it. I really want to see what will happen in 2024. If there is another magic this boy will do, I want to see that. Now taking a look at this small guy. He has been doing a lot of cloud chasing for a very long time. He's a streamer. At a certain point, I knew him like a Muslim. Then, at one point, I don't know if this was cloud chasing or what exactly, I was told he converted, he's now, he's no longer a Muslim. He does just this kind of thing, you know, to go viral on social media. If they did not put this guy out of that gate, what he would do, it would be embarrassing. Though they could arrest him, kick him out, it would not still be really that significant because he would have just messed up the whole place by asking stupid questions, doing some kind of ridiculous things, you know, to seek attention. Like I said, he put that video out on Instagram thinking people did not see it. So upon arriving at the gate, they said, oh, you cannot enter. He was even wondering, he didn't even know what he did, that they put him out. It is upon this interview with Dana White that I realized it is because of the ridiculous videos he put out threatening Trump. That is really cool. They were really fast enough, you know, to trap this guy. You could have been seeing a lot of videos that were going around social. Trump was attacked. Trump was hurt. You know, things like this on social media. Reason some people don't even know that there was a fight. You know that went on. Thank you guys for always being there, supporting me, sharing out my videos. God bless you abundantly. Continue to share the videos.